Okay, I've just added a few different elements to a bot to see, demonstrate the new edit feature. Um, just click on edit. I'll put a little red zero or O next to the elements. Click on any to edit. A text box. Um, if I want to change a width, let's say I only want a short little text box, I want to make it 80, and change the height as well, anything really. And there, um, with the um, slider. If you want to change the variable name for whatever reason, you need to do it in two places, here and here. You see variable in same variable in two places. Um, same thing with the select file. There'll be you'll have to change a variable in two places if you want to change the name of it for whatever reason. Um, with a multiple select list box for this the first box and this box you'll notice or you may notice that um, neither of them the variable name neither of them have the same variable name as what you gave it but yeah that's why it's supposed to be so don't change variable names for the multiple select list boxes if you want to change any of the options you can easily do that or add more or remove any whatever um one other thing with the inside the opening div tag you've got the position absolute left and top Let's say you wanted all these elements here perfectly lined up to the left, or you could just make sure that they all had the same number here for all at left, and that'll line them up perfectly. I'll just, uh, oh, it's a list box. You can, um, I could change the color of this. So I want to make it half the length, 100 cases. And here's my uh, position left. So if I make that 229, you'll see it move over here somewhere. And there it is there. Um, got a uh, just a default size block text. Um, can change the size of that, the height. So I want to make it, I don't know, say 300. Can change the width as well if you want. If I put a placeholder in, you can if you hadn't done so already. Oh, just one other thing. You see this with a number for every element. Don't change that, whatever you do. <laughs> it will mess everything up. So, yeah, that's one thing. Do not change. And add that placeholder and made it a bit larger um, added a panel I left it transparent if you decide you want to add colors you can come to background color the hash and that will be for the heading the heading area so up around here it will change that color if you want to change the body color come down to this one 
Hash. And you can change the uh, height of the body. Um, height of the header. The width of them both. Let's change the uh, colors with a button. There's a bit you can do. Just got a normal old button here. Um, from after height and width, just make these say seventy. And I'll add in a border radius, border dash radius of 50 pixel. And you see that gives us a perfectly round button. The uh, font looks a bit small. Let me make that bigger. Uh, font size, so make it uh, 22 pixel. Um, you can change the font family. You can add a font family in here if you want. If you wanted to change the color of the button, of the font, sorry. Go color and um, what do we want? Hash yeah. and it'll give us a white font, currently black. Yep, so save changes. And there, got a perfectly round button. Um, I think that's about all. With the uh, lights of switches, check boxes, there's not really anything much lot you can do, I don't think, other than if you want to change a variable name. Or this sort of stuff you won't want to change at all. So it's really only variable name and if you want to do adjust the uh, position. Okay, I think that's about it. If you've got any questions, just uh, ask me in the thread. Okay, thanks.